and then we read this chapter 4 of Luke where Holy Spirit leads Jesus into wilderness he leads him into fasting he leads him into prayer you know sometimes we we want all we want to be leaders we all want to rise up to be great influencers we all, we all want to rise up to be great people but for Holy Spirit to be able to lead you you have to have a quality of being led many people have a great gift of leadership and they have a horrible characteristic to follow they cannot follow orders they give orders they know how to bark orders on other people but when it comes to following orders from somebody else they just can't do that imagine Jesus being son of God yet in on earth he's showing to us what it's like to live man in submission to the Holy Spirit he allows the Holy Spirit to orchestrate his life and to bring him to a place where he is not going to eat where he's going to sacrifice food for 40 days to get something better than food to get closer to God to overcome the enemy to have a personal victory in his life to have the victory that Adam should have had in the Garden of Eden to have the victory Israel should have had in the wilderness but they failed in sometimes when we think of leading of the Holy Spirit we immediately assume the Holy Spirit is going to lead us to great things powerful things and that is a hundred percent true the only thing is that I think we miss sometimes the cost it's going to take to get to those things and the Holy Spirit would reveal to us hey this is what I'm taking you I'm taking you to great things but he doesn't tell us the path and the route he's going to take there and the path is always going to be this if you're going to want great things you're going to have to be willing to sacrifice good things food is good food is very good for those of you who are fasting know what I'm talking about but food is very good food is not evil food is not pornography food is not some lying cheating or beating or gossiping food is a good thing from God but see when you want to be used by God when you want to have great things this is where Holy Spirit is leading you but he's leading you by giving up the good so he can get you to the great many of us we want the Holy Spirit to jump us from sacrificing so we can have the good and the great at the same time and we think that is the key to being really used by the Holy Spirit. If we can keep my life and get God's life at the same time. My friend, that doesn't exist. You cannot have eternal life in heaven until you give up earthly life on earth. You cannot say, I want to be in heaven and live in Pasco. Now you can daydream. You can do a movie about it you can write a book about it but you cannot be in both places you can't be in something great until you're willing to give up something good if the Holy Spirit is leading you to give up something good it's a signature he is taking you to something that is great if Holy Spirit is leading you to giving up certain things that you may say man other people are not giving this up it means the Holy Spirit is leading you to something great but he has to lead you through something that's giving up of the good when it comes to fasting it's giving up good why so you can have something great when it comes to giving money when living sacrificially why why do you have to do that because you're giving up something good to have something great you want a path to greatness it's a sacrifice of good